Asus Prime X299 Deluxe 2 Motherboard Review Intel's refreshed CPUs for the X299 platform gave motherboard makers a chance at a do-over in the wake of a narrowing of focus for those chips. Like I alluded to in my review of the Gigabyte X299 Designare X, not every X299 board that's passed through the TR Labs has been a winner, especially when you toss 18 overclocked Skylake server cores in the LGA2066 socket. Part of that is because Intel's original vision for X299, an expandable, upgradable platform that could host anything from 4-core to 18-core chips, resulted in complex key lane routing choices and overburdened, undercooled power delivery designs that didn't seem able to stretch across that entire range without making compromises. In the intervening year and change, AMD's risen Threadripper onslaught has made the notion of four cores on a high-end desktop platform quaint. The war is on to pack as many cores and key lanes as possible into high-end motherboards, and the idea of putting mainstream desktop CPUs in high-end sockets is blessedly dead and gone. Asus has taken advantage of this opportunity to update its highest-end Presumer X299 board in the form of the Prime X299 Deluxe 2. AMD's risen Threadrippers have sparked a pitched battle for high-end desktop superiority, and we're all reaping the benefits of that competition. Not only has that battle made capable high-end desktop CPUs available for less money than ever, it's forced both Intel and motherboard makers to hone the mission of the X299 platform. The Prime X299 Deluxe 2 is just one result of that sharpening. And even after dropping the 18 Core i9-9980s in this board socket, I came away from my testing hard press to identify more than a couple flaws with this board. It largely provides the hassle-free, straightforward experience one should demand from a high-end desktop platform. Builders will be surprised to see Asus take advantage of the infamous Windows platform binary table to persistently try and install a software hub for managing its own drivers and utilities. We think Asus intentions are good here, but we doubt many DIers will be comfortable with their motherboards pushing utilities into Windows by way of the firmware. This feature can be disabled before first boot in the EFI, but we'd prefer it to be an opt-in at first boot to begin with. Asus also requires users to install its Windows utilities to take full advantage of this board's considerable fan control smarts, a demand that Gigabyte boards don't make. Those wrinkles aside, the Prime X299 Deluxe 2 smooths out most every deficiency of its predecessor. Integrated Thunderbolt 3 ports, onboard 5 gigabit Ethernet, and a cooler running VRM capped off by an effective, High surface area heatsink call come together to produce hardware that's much better suited to the job of hosting 18 Skylake server cores than the company's first presumer flagship 4X299. Although Asus firmware hasn't received a major update in some time, the company's control center doesn't really need one to begin with. The company's UFI remains the most polished in the business. And I found the process of overclocking our Core i9-9980s on this board to be swift and smooth, even without the use of Asus handy Windows software. Even in the low airflow environment of our test bench, the board didn't have any trouble keeping its power delivery circuitry well under its thermal limits, either. Unique, well thought out extras like a vertical M.2 slot and the fan extension card 2 fan and lighting controller set the Prime X299 Deluxe 2 apart from the rest of the high end motherboard pack, and the board's white and silver cladding has just enough RGB LED accents to stand out in a modern build. While it might not be the most functional touch, the live dash OLED display amidships on this board offers a nice cherry on top for those who want to customize every last inch of their systems. At a cool $500, the X299 Deluxe 2 is one of the most expensive high-end desktop motherboards around, period. If you're shopping for a board in this price range, you likely need every bit per second of Thunderbolt 3 bandwidth, every expansion slot and storage board you can fill, every hertz you can squeeze out of an overclocked CPU, or control over every fan and RGB LED strip you can add to a PC or at least you ought to need those things. Asus refinements have a way of cascading through the company's product lineup, 
especially in the VRM department, so builders without truckloads of cash to burn may want to wait and see whether the company chooses to update some of its lesser X299 boards with similar power delivery and VRM cooling improvements. For those who want to take full advantage of a more focused and less restrictive X299 platform today, though, the Prime X299 Deluxe 2 is about as good as it gets.